It's like the entertainment industry is collectively allergic to making money. Hello, this is Mara Jade, and I'm back with another video, and it looks like the latest victim of pandering, in this case, falls in the Street Fighter franchise category with the sixth game in the series, according to YouTuber Johnny Massacre, who calls it, quote, a playground for woke activists. Now, me personally, I was on the fence about purchasing this game. I played more Mortal Kombat than Street Fighter years ago, but I liked both for different reasons, and I was on the fence, mainly regarding the gameplay trailer shown at the Capcom event back in June. I thought it was decent, not exactly mind-blowing or anything, but the gameplay looked good, fighting, graphics, and so forth. But I wanted to wait until reviews came out from people I trusted, more gameplay trailers, news, and so forth, before deciding whether or not to purchase it. And given this, given this right now, chances are, chances are no at this case, if this is... According to him, if it's a playground for woke activists, because I, I, it's a fighting game. Where the fuck should there be any activism in a fighting game is beyond me. But let's just go into this article so we can get a gauge of why he is calling it this. So without further ado, here it is. YouTuber Johnny Massacre has labeled Street Fighter VI as woke after finding himself being unimpressed by Capcom's decision to ditch the male and female categories in the game's all-new character creator. Uh, Halo... 343 Industries did that with Halo uh, some time ago, removing the male-female choices and changing it with, uh, like, Body 1, Body 2, or something like that. Even though those of us, such as myself, who've been playing Halo for years, knows that there are female Spartans. There are female Spartans, so it's not like it was any... would have been any difference if they kept it male-female, but they changed it. They changed it to essentially pander to people who've never really played the game at all, but... That's another video, that's another topic, and but it looks like it looks like Capcom's doing the same thing. Street Fighter 6 is currently in closed beta, and the few who have had the chance to try out the game have shared their experiences with the new feature. Kotaku, IGN, The Gamer, and other video game media outlets have discussed the extremes players can push their characters' body proportions. There are some, however, who have been focused on other details. As seen in gameplay footage shared by Arex Gaming, the character creator has players picking their preferred body type rather than their character's biological sex. While body type 1 is clearly a male physique and body type 2 is a female body, players may then select their identity of male, female, or human. Fucking what? Human is a race. How is that an identity? I... Okay. Back up. I, I know the fucking weirdos out there would consider it an identity, but human is a race. We are human. We are human. Alright? Because I know there are non-human characters within both Street Fighter and, like, say, Mortal Kombat. There are non-human characters. Those are races. Not identities. If you identify as a human, bro like, good job. You passed fucking first grade. Why is that even an option? Along with a myriad of face-shaping parameters allowing players to make a masculine or feminine face no matter what they pick, I gave okay, this fine, the 16 different voice options mean players can pick a fem male or female-sounding voice. Even under Body 2, always wearing a sports bra rather than being topless, players can give their characters chest hair or a beard. When switching between Bodies 1 and 2, the face remains the same. Alright. Again, it's like they're allergic to making money. It's like they're allergic to making money. YouTuber and DJ Johnny Massacre of Ultrasound focuses on media and political topics on his channel, and Street Fighter VI's character creator drew his ire. Street Fighter VI is officially woke. Here you can see no male or female categories but body type 1 and 2, and male and female is selected not under sex, but under what you identify as. F you, Capcom of America, the YouTuber decried, closing with calls to boycott the game. Now, me personally, I don't jump on any boycott wagon. If you choose to do so, that is your own personal opinion. That's your own personal choice. I am of the mindset that if you want to boycott anything, speak with your wallet. Don't buy anything from any company if you disagree with what they are doing with said product. If you don't like what they're doing with said product, speak with your wallet. That, that speaks volumes to these companies. Not signing petitions on, like, change.org or any fucking thing like that, not just calling for a boycott, actually doing it by closing your wallets or turning around and purchasing something else. 
and not a certain product that is makes you angry or anything like that. All right, here's his tweet. Johnny Masker discussed Street Fighter VI further in his eponymously, eponymously named YouTube show. Starting with a derisive tone, he asserted, Well done, Capcom, for changing the game for a bunch of trans activists who don't even play it. Again, it's like they're, again, I know I'm beating the dead horse, but it's like they're allergic to making money. I understand the concept of bringing new player people in to purchase your product because you want to make money. You want to get it out to more people, not just the people who've been playing the game. Or anything like that. I get that mindset. I get that mindset. How f ever. How big fucking ever. Alright. You don't do that by pandering to a demographic who has not played your game at all. Because if they have not played your game at all. And this is the way to do it. By prostrating yourselves bef before the warped uh, sociopolitical agendas of identity politics. If that's the way to do it. Then they were never... They were never worth your time to fucking begin with in terms of marketing. They were never worth your fucking time because it shouldn't matter. Your political stance, sociopolitics or whatever, whatever you fucking believe in that spectrum shouldn't fucking matter, especially in a fighting game. Especially in a fucking fighting game. Why, why do these companies do that is beyond me is beyond me because they do so at the expense of turning away existing customers, existing fans. Now, I'm not saying this game necessarily is going to go, like, you know, uh, not be profitable or anything, because there's going to be people out there that regardless of what Capcom is doing, is going to be purchasing this game. I get it. I don't think it's going to do poorly, necessarily. But at the same time, I don't think it's going to do quite as well with this getting out to the larger audience of Street Fighter fans. I don't see it doing as well as it normally could have. And it all falls on Capcom's decisions. Stupid decisions. Mind-bogglingly fucking stupid decisions. But it falls on Capcom. You can need to mock calling the body type woke code for biological sex and noting that putting the male as body type 1 and female as 2 is sexist. Are you saying women are weaker than males? I'm just holding you to your own woke critical standards. Well, he's got a point there. A video game is a playground for woke activists, the YouTuber asserted as he came to the realization that fighting games are trans activists' wet dreams, noting that a real-life fight between a woman identifying as a man and a biological man could would be incredibly one-sided. Same thing with a, um, a male-to-female uh, transition, pretty much. And then, they, then that trans woman competes in female sports and annihilates their biological female comp competitors. It's the same thing. It's the same fucking thing. And yet they like seem like they're like wanting seal claps from these people and turning away those like Johnny Masker who I am assuming, I don't know him personally, or I've not really watched his videos, but I'm assuming that he would have loved to have praised this game, but now you've turned him away. And maybe others. I don't know. Johnny didn't let up, also claiming... Dal Seem's new design is, was also woke as his skull necklace is no longer present, allegedly to prevent offense. While his design is inspired by real-life Hindu Kapalikas, the game's lore explains the skulls came from children in his village who died from a plague. This mark of respect didn't stop Capcom putting ads for the Capcom Pro Tour onto the skulls in Street Fighter V. Returning to Street Fighter VI and Johnny... He argues Capcom tried too hard to avoid depicting Dalsim as an ignoble savage minority as they dumbed down this game and tried to make it as inoffensive and politically correct as possible. <sighs> Noting the character bio who describes the Indian fighter as a peaceful man, Johnny insists he knew Dalsim's lore far more than all the wokists who defended the new design. Pointing out to one of Dalsim's quotes from Street Fighter Alpha 2 that has the yoga master saying, I'm your master. Pain is a state of mind and I don't mind your pain after defeating an opponent. The YouTuber reiterated, removing the skulls from Dalsim's necklace was obviously Street Fighter's new woke creators influencing the game. Don't want to make it too offensive. Johnny claimed other woke designs include Blanca, as the official Twitter for Street Fighter VI also describes the fighter as a, quote, kind-hearted defender of nature that gives jungle tours and cares for his mother. A far cry from his struggles of anim animistic rage, it should be animalistic, rage, an instinct of past games. Even so, his story mode in Street Fighter V did see him trying to quell his anger and even attempting to sell dolls for a living. <sighs> 
Why don't we just get rid of life bars and have a poetry recital competition instead, sarcastically suggested Johnny. Because we wouldn't want to hurt anyone street fighting, the name of the game. Quite clearly, the activists of Capcom USA are pressuring Capcom Japan to do this. Johnny then highlights his prior videos discussing the leaked Street Fighter VI character roster, claiming less sexualized female costumes and more black characters were minor concessions Capcom were making for marketing Western shareholders and Capcom USA. He further claimed backlash and alleged censorship against his allegations were evidence of the game being woke, though supporting woke ideals programmed to react harshly when such matters were called out, and that Capcom's concessions would escalate. Beyond Johnny's discussion, Street Fighter VI features an NPC host called Eternity, appearing to be very camp-acting man, of, uh, uh, campy, I guess. Some players have made some assumptions on Twitter comparing Capcom's flamboyant presenter to Ruby Rod, Chris Tucker's character in The Fifth Element. I'm very into Street Fighter VI's new trans non-binary Ruby Rod. Ugh, Rod. Alright, fucking hell. That looks so shit. In my personal opinion. Wearing the colors of the transgender pride flag. Oh, shit. Blue, pink, and white may have also contributed to the assumption, as user uh, Sina Plamil noted, sharing of pictures of both the flag and Capcom's new presenter and writing trans flag color picked from eternity. Oh, no. Street Fighter Six really went to the woke progressive route, lamented another user. I hated it in Guilty Gear with Testament, and I hate it here. You have lost me, Capcom. Along with the trans characters being implemented into more games, such as the case with Bridget being retconned in Guilty Gears, Strive, despite prior lore, for example, character creators in some major titles have avoided using biological sex categories in recent years. Even recent Pokemon games, Animal Crossing New Horizons, Splatoon 3, Story of Seasons, A Wonderful Life, and Harvestella have all featured a graphic for male or female characters without outright stating a gender. Which I think is stupid. But anyway, I, I just, that's, look, okay, can we definitively say this game is woke? I personally don't think so. I don't think we can really definitively say it is woke based on this article. However, you can exactly say it's not given at least the changes to certain characters so as not to offend those with delicate sensibilities, as well as removing male-female options for character creations and just picking body type 1, body type 2, but then with body type 2, you can still have same features as body type 1, because never mind that rational people understand there are two biological sexes, male-female. When you have a transgender, they go from male to female or female to male. There's no in-between. There's no... They, like, trans uh, transition to an Apache helicopter or anything like that. It's male to female, female to male. Literally. Two. But then you have the prostration before the activists, those who have never at all given any of these games any attention whatsoever until, until their egos were stroked by these entertainment industry entities. In this case, Capcom, USA in particular. But what are your thoughts down in the comments below? Are you getting this game? Are you not getting this game? Does this turn you off? Do you not care? Let me know all that fun stuff down in the comments. I'm, like I said, likely not going to purchase this game. Not so much to do with this necessarily. More so to do with I was unimpressed. But this does not help really at all. This does not really help at all changing my mind. But again, let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. All that fun stuff. I will be live on my Twitch later tonight, Jade underscore Fire, playing some, hopefully, fingers crossed, Dead by Daylight. I am getting a refund from Steam because I could not get that game to play at all. I think it was my drivers not being compatible with the game, which is unfortunate. But I'm getting a refund through Steam, hopefully, and I purchased it through my PlayStation. So, again, fingers crossed that I'm able to play this game tonight on my Twitch channel, Jade underscore Fire, around 7.30 p.m. Eastern, so look for that later on. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up, share on social media if you will. This is Mara Jade, catch you on the dark side, and I really don't want to say rest in peace Street Fighter, but it looks to be that case.